Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I'm so excited for this video. Only the day that I'm going to attempt a 24-hour readathon. I literally love watching these videos. I think it's so fun to like see people try and read for 24 hours and like how many books you can get done and I really want to do one because I think I have a pretty fast reading pace compared to like the average person I guess so I kind of want to see like how many pages I can read slash books and like I just think it'll be fun and yeah so we're gonna do things a little differently it's currently 2 20 um on Tuesday I just got home from work like literally five minutes ago and I the reason I have been able to film this video is because I work full-time I also go to school full-time so I never like even if I have two days off back to back I have class in the morning so I can't stay up and not go to class so I have class tomorrow morning at 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the readathon now at 2. And we're going to like read pretty late into the night. And then go to sleep for like a few hours. So like not really a full night to sleep. Just like a, like a nap essentially. And then read in the morning. Go to school. And read tomorrow. Because I'm off tomorrow. So I can take a good chunk of hours tomorrow. And a little bit today. And I think that's how we're going to try it. So I'll just start my timer every time I read, pause it whenever I'm like sleeping or doing schoolwork or whatever. And then obviously we'll go until we get 24 hours. So I'm going to eat some lunch and start reading. Um, we'll make a fun coffee in this video. And as for my TBR, let's get to that. We'll start with the book that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading Keeping 13. This is Binding 13, but I just wanted to show you guys they have the same exact covers. Um, I'm reading this um, on my Kindle right now. I'm actually waiting on the physical copy to come in. It's supposed to come in today, um, so maybe we'll have it by today's video. If not, I'll just finish up my Kindle. I'm literally, I think, at 51% um, on my Kindle. So we're definitely going to be finishing Keeping 13 in this video, which is really good because I was actually doing a reading vlog for this, so I need to get it finished so I can upload it. But these are like thick books, and they have really small font. But I'm 51% through, so I definitely think I can finish this in this video. Also, I kind of want to try an audiobook, and what better time than this video? Because when I'm, like, doing anything like dishes or anything, I can put on an audiobook, and it'll count towards reading time. So I've heard a million amazing things about Daisy Jones and the Six, and the only reason I have not read it yet, I love Taylor Jenkins Read, is because everyone's saying you have to listen to the audiobook because the whole book is written with, like, all the characters that you just need to listen to it um i actually bought this copy off facebook marketplace for literally two dollars because it is like it got wet but you can still read it it's just kind of crumbly but i do have the physical copy as well so i think i'm going to purchase this as an audiobook um which i have never used an audiobook ever in my life so that'll be something fun and then once we have finished keeping 13 i'm gonna pull these four books i definitely don't think i will read all four of these books in this video i really have no idea how much i'll be able to read um but I have these that are kind of like on my tentative TBR. So the first one I have is a thriller that's been on my TBR cart because I feel like I read thrillers pretty fast and they're also like interesting and fast paced most of the time. So if I start to get into like a slump, um, so I have His and Hers by Alice Feeney. I'm trying to read her whole backlist as well. So I just have had this on my TBR cart. So this is the thriller that if I feel like reading, we will read. Then I have the Final Gambit, which is the third book in the Inheritance Game series. I've honestly just been putting this off like I don't want to read it, which I love the first two books. I just think because it's been so long since I've read the first two books that I like don't have that interest anymore. But I think once I start this, I'll be interested. So I'm kind of going to force myself in a way to start this and hopefully finish it in this video. Because I'm trying to finish all the series that I started last year, this year. So there's that. Then we have Carrie Soto is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, this is another book that I haven't read by her. I think this, Daisy Jones, and then there's one more book, and then I've read all of her books. So it'd be fun if I got this book in too. Um, and I just keep seeing people post about this lately. And the only reason I've been procrastinating reading this is because it's a hardcover, and I hate hardcovers, which is not a good excuse. So we'll force ourselves to do that. And the last one I'm going to put on here for now is Haunting Adeline. Um, this is the first book in a duet, the cat and mouse duet, I think it's called. Um, and I really have been into dark romance lately and I just got these. So I figured it'd be a good time to start this if I finish any of my other duets or series. Then I'll start this one. My husband is in the field all week, so I figured this would be the perfect week to do it. Because I have no distractions, like we're not going to watch TV or go on any dates or anything. So 
let's let's get into this video we just downloaded audible and i'm downloading daisy jones and the six and we're gonna cook while we listen to this so we'll start our timer i've never used an audiobook so who knows if i like this maybe an audiobook will be my new thing but we're gonna go ahead and start our stopwatch or should i do yeah we'll start our stopwatch and we'll start this book okay guys time for an update um, or in my kitchen because we're about to make a coffee, but it's four o'clock now and I went ahead and worked out, ate my lunch, um, showered, and I did a few little chores around the house. Um, and I've read so far for a total of an hour and a minute, almost two minutes, which is literally crazy because I can't believe I don't utilize audiobooks. Like there's so many times where I want to be reading my book, but there's like laundry that has to be done or something where I can't read while doing it. And the fact that I didn't, like I thought I wouldn't like audiobooks is crazy to me. But, um, yeah, so we are currently on, by the way, I have it on 1.4 speed. So it says there's five hours and 20 minutes, 29 minutes left in the book and this is where we're currently at um we're gonna make the coffee because it is four o'clock and i'm probably gonna hit a little midday slump here soon and we have lots of reading to do so i already made a coffee this morning but we're gonna have another one i'm gonna show you guys what i'm making because i've been obsessed with watching tiktoks of people making starbucks drinks at home and blah 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 and ever since i got my espresso i constantly am shopping for like new things and i just got new syrups in yesterday and obsessed so we're gonna be making a toasted marshmallow like s'moresy espresso latte thing so we are gonna go ahead and first brew up some espresso I think I'm just going to do a little shot of some Starbucks Blonde. I think we're gonna do like a caramel s'mores moment. So I'm gonna give it a little caramel drizzle. And we're gonna measure out two tablespoons of the Tarani Toasted Marshmallow Syrup. And then we have some extra creamy oat milk our shot of espresso i normally do like two but i already have them this morning so we're only gonna do one and then of course we have some ice and there you have it this is literally so delicious I'll do a taste test for proof literally amazing <laughs> It is now 7.10 and I finished my first book in this 24-hour readathon. Um, I finished Keeping 13. I'm probably going to read it like 4.25 stars. I've been waiting for 3 hours and 16 minutes total so far. It's crazy because it feels like so much longer already. I feel like I've been home for like hours, but I really haven't. Um... I'm kind of scared. I thought this would be like an, not an easy challenge, but like easier. And and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'll probably just talk more in depth about what it's about like in my monthly wrap up. So I'm not going to bore you guys in this video. But yeah, so now we finished a book and I have to decide what I'm going to pick up next. I think I'm probably going to go make some dinner. I kind of want to make banana bread because I have some bananas that are going to go bad. So I might like start that because that has to cook for like an hour. Um... I make some dinner. Alright, our yummy banana bread is ready and it looks so good. Okay, quick update. <clears throat> also, if you see like a pink light, I have my hatch um alarm on with like the light coral light i love having this on at nighttime and reading it just makes like the prettiest glow but i know it's probably not the best for like the camera but i listened to more of the audiobook while i was baking and whatnot so we're at a total of four hours and 20 minutes i just started um a little bit ago haunting adeline which is the first book in the cat and mouse duet um but i've gotten 80 pages in um i think i'm gonna put it down for now because it's very dark and it's about a stalker and i'm home alone 
and it's night time. I have to sleep alone tonight because my husband is not here. So I don't know if I want to read this tonight. I might pick this back up tomorrow during the daytime. Um, but it sounds good so far. But it is a dark, dark book. So I don't think it's the best for right now. So I just went back into my reading room. And I'm kind of at this point where I'm like, I don't know what I want to read now. So now, is this the slump part? Is this the part that everyone talks about? So I went and grabbed a bunch of books that I've like been wanting to read. And we're just going to kind of try and pick one. I don't know. I kind of want to read The Wall of Winnipeg in me because I've never read a Mariana Zapata book. But this is so big. And I just read two 600 page books. Like, do I need to read another 600 page book? Okay, I've decided I'm between these two for my next read. Um, number one, we have Permanent Record. I have literally bought this book years ago. <laughs> My cat just opened the door and I literally had a panic attack. I don't know if it's like good, if it's rated good or anything, but I kind of want to read it without going on Goodreads and seeing since it's something that's not really talked about that much, at least on like the pages I follow. But I also have Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter, which I've heard about Lynn Painter so much. This looks like such a cute little read. Um, yeah, and I think they're both why I am not sure, to be honest, but... <sighs> I might just literally play rock, paper, scissors because I'm an adult. So let's, or not rock, paper, scissors. But I'm going to play with myself. I meant, um, any, any, my email. Hey, we're writing permanent record. Um, I have my banana bread and we're going to start this one. I'm just going to put my humongous pile of books on my husband's side of the bed since he's not here. All right, guys, it is now 11 o'clock on the dot. Um, and we are at almost six hours of reading so far good morning friends i am feeling rough this morning i am tired um i definitely slept longer than i wanted to i went to bed around 1 30 and i woke up at 8 45 um but it's kind of good because i feel really tired and i have class and like as much as i want to make this video like obviously school has to come first so it's fine because we have literally all day today once i am done with class and then i don't work until tomorrow night so even if i have to roll some hours over into tomorrow it's still 24 hours of reading just not straight through but last night after i last updated you guys i started the third book in the inheritance games and i think i read about 40 pages and it's not that it was like boring i just kind of wanted to read like more of like a romance at the moment because i'm very much a mood reader so i put that down for a minute and then i started the wall of winnipeg in me and i'm literally using a paper towel that was on my nightstand because i didn't want to get up and come get a bookmark um and i got 32 pages into the wall of Winnipeg and me um I'm kind of happy I'm doing this challenge because I'm reading books that have literally been sitting on my shelf forever I think I bought this like last February or something I haven't read any Mar Mariana Zapata books and I want to this is the only one that I own from her um so yeah I started this as well and then of course we're still we started the haunting of Adeline um this morning after I get out of class I have like a lot of cleaning I'd like to get done um so i definitely am going to be listening to my audiobook for a good amount of the afternoon which i am excited about because i really am enjoying daisy jones and the six so far and i would like to finish it um because it's good and then maybe we'll get another audiobook in the future i'm kind of liking it so far so that's kind of the rundown for this morning i have class for about an hour and then we'll get into the audiobook we'll do some reading in here and try and change up the scenery today and not just be in my bedroom um yeah also i pro i'm probably gonna make a video on this eventually if you guys want but i made a reading journal this year it's my first time ever making one i'm like not artistic at all like i have like bad handwriting i don't know how to draw so this is like really outside of my comfort zone but i'm definitely trying my hardest but i'm really excited because i put in here like where is it i haven't finished yet i'm probably gonna work on it today when i read my audiobook but I put in here like books that I wanted to read and like bingo and stuff. I actually haven't finished the bingo page, but basically it's like goals and then like I'm trying to hit them all. And so I have like listen to an audiobook on here, finish a series, um, uh, do a 24 hour readathon, stuff like that on here. So once I like finish all these, it'll be fun to cross them off. But if you guys want me to do a book journal video thr flip through of like where I show you all the pages I made 
and like what I'm doing to keep track of my reading and make it fun this year. Let me know, but it's not done yet, so I need to keep working on that. I literally started it like a few days ago. But yeah, I'm gonna go to class now. And luckily I have like the zoom feature on where it like blurs your face a little bit. So you can't tell that I barely got any sleep and that's great. <laughs> Alright, time for an update. It's 2 o'clock. We have been reading for 9 hours and 40 minutes. Um, I'm currently, let's see, I have 2 hours and 51 minutes left in Daisy Jones and the Six. I've listened to a good amount of this today while cleaning up my car, doing some laundry. I just listened to it while I did my sheets and everything. I just remade my bed and whatnot. Hey guys, let's do an update. Um, first of all, I want to say, currently coloring in my adult coloring book i'm actually coloring this page to use as the background in one of my book journal pages so that's kind of what i'm doing right now and i'm switching between doing this and then reading a few pages in here so i just wanted to update you guys i have literally my whole setup going over here okay. we are at 16 hours now of reading i'm putting my glasses on because i look crazy but 16 hours down i cannot believe we're still going this is crazy guys i just finished daisy jones in the six <clears throat> it's obviously the next day i have my eye patches on right now because I am freaking tired. I stayed up till like 3 a.m. last night reading and working on my journal. I read a little bit more of Haunting Adeline because it was actually on Kindle Unlimited. So I just downloaded it on my Kindle because I wanted to read on my Kindle. But we are 20 hours and 40 minutes and deep into this video. Um, and I'm not going to lie about the fact that I'm feeling myself getting into a little bit of a slump because I feel like I'm just reading to do this video and I actually like work later and I have to blow up my hair and I work a double tomorrow and then my husband comes home on Saturday. 
so I kind of just want to stop this video now um which I know I didn't complete the full 24 hours but we read for way more time than I would have anyways and I still think it was a fun video to do but I want to talk about Daisy Jones real quick because literally what one of my all-time favorite reads like out of all the hundred and something books that I've read in the last year and a year and a month it was so good and like everyone who says to listen to an audiobook is like I understand why now it was amazing as an audiobook um literally obsessed with it I don't even like I can't even form words I literally just finished like 10 minutes ago when we found out like who was telling the story I was like and it was just a beautifully written story like I feel like they're a real band like it's hard to realize it's not real people and the fact that they're coming out with a tv show I'm obsessed and cannot wait I've never been as excited for a book to turn into a movie or a tv show as I am for Daisy Jones but that was insane so we're finishing off this video here because I simply just need a break from reading at this point and or i'm gonna put myself in a major slump so let's go through the statistics of this video of what we read and whatnot so i just want to say that i am 20 percent in haunting adeline and 14 percent in the final gambit those are both books that i started during this video so we read that much of those and then we read a total of so for full books like from beginning to finish we read one two three four we read permanent record better than movies wall of unepigamy and daisy jones and the six were completed during this video i completed half of keeping 13 in this video 14 percent of the inheritance games third book and 20 percent of haunting adeline so i read a bunch of books we got a good dent into my tbr which is really exciting because a lot of these books have been sitting on my shelf for literally months so I'm glad that I did this video to force myself to read some books that I already have um and yeah this was super fun I definitely plan on doing one in the future but like trying to stay up all night and whatnot when I don't have school and work because it's hard when you have school and work obviously I am going to go get ready for my day take a break from reading probably for the rest of the day because I think that I just need a break and then we'll see I have so many good video ideas coming so we need to take a break from reading today so we can like want to read again because I'm pretty overwhelmed but thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next one